I cannot use a selfie stick, I'm not even joking guys, but this is actually Thursday, I don't really know why I've started this now, but um, basically, you know, I'm trying to like sort of sort out final few videos ready for the weekend, which is odd, because when you're seeing this, all those videos would have already gone live, but at this moment in time, I'm still having to sort them all out, but I started it now mainly due to the fact that I leave at about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm not looking forward to that. So, you know, basically, I I don't know if I'm going to do anything tomorrow morning. If you're going to see me absolutely just tired as I'll probably, like, sleep most of the morning. I think our flight leaves at about sort of 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. But, you know, I'm, I've got this selfie stick now, so hopefully, you know, I can get some better angles on everything. And, yeah, hopefully... It can go all right, but I'm looking forward to the Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, obviously, this is Thursday, and by the sounds of it, we are meant to be getting a lot of thunder showers over the course of the weekend. It's either meant to be nice, bright, and sunny, or thunder showers. So hopefully, we get you know a ridiculously exciting Grand Prix. You know, um, well, obviously, we saw last season the last lap controversy between Hamilton and Rosberg, and although we definitely won't be seeing that again because someone's retired. Uh, we could see, you know, Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton, maybe, you know, there's been a lot of controversy around those two over the last couple of weeks. So, you know, maybe we could see a few more battles between the pair of them. You know, maybe Vettel absolutely loses it again, you know. Rightfully, I felt, you know, he still deserved a drive-through on the hot... Uh, sorry, not a drive-through, a disqualification or a race ban. But I kind of like the fact he hasn't to an extent, because then hopefully... We get quite a good battle this weekend as well, guys. But this, hopefully, is the start of my Austrian Grand Prix vlog. It's probably going to be two videos, I think, you know, sort of um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday's vlog may go up as a different video, but obviously I'll have to wait and see so far. But yeah, let's move on into the Austrian Grand Prix. We actually made it to Austria at last, and Dad's, well, he's, he's driving, what, what are you driving exactly? It's a 1.4 turbocharged Opel Astra. So it's 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 brilliant, is what it is, and there's actually like maybe a little bit of a tour. I don't know, like it's actually electric and stuff. But we're we're in Austria now. How far is the drive to where we're meant to be? Uh, a two hundred and twenty-five kilometers. So what's that? One hundred and sixty miles. One hundred and fifty miles. Yeah. One hundred and fifty miles. We've now got to drive to well, somewhat near the Grand Prix circuit, but we probably won't be going today. I doubt we will. No, because there's a lot of driving to be done now. It's just the day of driving, really, isn't it? Ah, 150 miles ain't too bad, is it? Yeah, and then we're about, what, 45, 50 miles from the track as well, as everything's beeping.
as well you probably would have seen there we did actually end up going to the Grand Prix yesterday this is actually now Saturday um, this is actually this is the view on the way we have to walk up it's actually incredibly windy and I don't want to lose my hat but yeah this is the way up to the Grand Prix today you know um, I don't know how good the microphone quality is but Hamilton's unfortunately now got a five place grid penalty so I don't really know Obviously, I think you probably, I'd like to think, you know, we'd still get poles, so that's P6 on the grid for tomorrow. But hopefully, you know, we can still get some good, obviously, shots of the day. It's going to be the first time we see the Formula 1 cars, because unfortunately yesterday it was only the poor Super Cup that we were only able to stay for. But yeah, hopefully, let's carry on driving to us, well, the Grand Prix. Sick place in free practice at one point when I got it. So I was like, this is this is looking like his weekend at last. And honestly, if, if he gets out in Q1, I'm going to be pretty damn gutted. I'm, I'm bringing my Renault hat tomorrow to support him definitely. But hopefully, hopefully with what eight minutes to go, it's it's not looking good. Unfortunately, it only shows the top ten. So I don't know how everyone's looking. But hopefully, he gets he gets into Q2 at least. Please. Q1 is over. Unfortunately, they're actually starting Q2 now, but I'm gutted for Palmer. I think he was up going into the final sector and then Raikkonen parked it in front of him. And I think the gap between him and Van Dorn was like three thousandths of a second anyway. So he has been completely, completely wrong of Q2 there by Raikkonen being an absolute spoon. But hopefully, my, my, all my hopes now are pinned on Hamilton. And he, I'm still hoping he gets pole, you know. Even though he's got a five post grip penalty, obviously we'll have to wait and see. But on to Q2 now, you might be able to win the cars in the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the end of Saturday. I'm terrible at ending the days. I'm all right at starting them though. And now it is Sunday morning. We It is currently half past five. We're trying to get up really early for this one so we can get a properly good seat at the Grand Prix. It's about an hour drive, so we'll get there about half past six. And then we've got a little bit of a walk up to turn two. But what are, what are predictions for today? I'll let you get out the car park first, but also whilst we wait for that, we have got some awesome t-shirts. Dad actually surprised me with these. He showed me them yesterday, and these are brilliant. I've got Matt 212, obviously, and he is Corner Cut 212 because of, if for those of you that weren't here back then, this was when I went to Austria, Australia even, 
at the end of last year we went around the Grand Prix circuit in Melbourne and well he decided he'd slice the chicanes. Very unprofessional of him I know but yeah. So we, we have hey. got these shirts. What what can you do I, I guess. But hopefully, I am sort of hope, you know, we see a little bit of rain. It's it's looking like we could see rain showers really at any point during the Grand Prix, but not for very long. But I'm sort of hoping we see, like, say for example, we saw two that were both really short. But Bottas said yesterday that he's not going to help Hamilton out. I'm not too sure whether that will particularly matter. But I think, to be honest with you, if we don't see rain, it's probably going to be Sebastian Bottas, then Hamilton down in P3. Obviously, he starts down in P8, which isn't ideal. But then if we do, I think, you know, it's really anyone's game. And I think Hamilton can really, really fight for the win. But obviously, we'll have to wait and see when we get there. But yeah, very, very early morning. We've got F3 and then the F2 races as well. So hopefully those can both be exciting as well. We saw the start of the F2 one yesterday, and it was it was very good, as you would have probably seen by the video already. But yeah, let's move on then. Sunday of the Austrian Grand Prix. I sort of wanted to explain at this point what I was really filming. Now at this time, it we're probably looking at about lap 60 of the Grand Prix. And as you've just seen there, a Williams and a Renault have just gone across your screens. And it was at this moment I realised Jolyon Palmer could be scoring his first points of the F1 season. So you know, you just see there an almighty lockup from Lance Stroll just ahead of him. It was pretty clear at this point 
and he was really cracking under the pressure. So I was just praying for Jody, you know, he'd, he'd outrace Hulkenberg all race long, which was absolutely brilliant to see. And every single time they came around, you could just see the, the gap is getting smaller and smaller. I was just there like, come on, Jody, you know. If I, if I was there to, you know, see his first points of the season, you know, I'd been really, really happy with that. You know, the race overall probably wasn't one of the most interesting ones, but if I'd seen Jody and get into the points, that would have all been worth it. You know, I would have quite happily sat around and watched for six hours if it had come to it, as long as he'd been able to get through. But unfortunately, as we all well know, by the very end of the Grand Prix, Jolian was not able to make the overtake. He finished P11 once again. It was absolutely gutting to see, you know, three races now. I think this season he has finished P11, and obviously last time out at Baku, he had a lot of reliability issues, guys. But hopefully, you know, we can see him score points ahead of the home crowd this weekend at the British Grand Prix. Now, obviously, I know quite a lot of people from, like, the F1 YouTube community, if you will, go to the British Grand Prix. So, you know, I want to wish everyone, uh, you know, they uh, have a lot of fun at the Grand Prix this weekend. Hopefully, you know, it can be a really, really interesting one for them. You know, hopefully they all enjoy it, uh, enjoy it sorry, and, you know, get hopefully some good footage as well. But hopefully, you know, it, as I said, it's a brilliant race. No, unfortunately... The rain showers that pre were predicted for this Grand Prix just never seemed to happen. It actually absolutely bucketed it down about 10 minutes after the race. There was thunder and lightning and everything about 15 minutes after the Grand Prix. So it was even more gutting that, you know, we didn't see the rain. And then straight after the race, it, it was just a monsoon. Absolutely everywhere, guys. And that kind of leads into sort of, you know, the next little bit that I wanted to talk about. And as you can now see on your screens when I got back to the Austrian airport the next day. This was what I was met with. Now, obviously, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen that I was, I was not happy about this. And unfortunately, that meant I was meant to be flying back Monday night and, well, my flight got cancelled. So that meant that I had to stay in Austria until Tuesday. I then had to get up at half past four to take a flight to Croatia and then back from Croatia back to the UK there. Unfortunately, obviously, I didn't really vlog any of that because at that point you know I was massively sleep deprived and I, and I just wanted to get home at that point you know after a flight being cancelled it was just whoever can get home when they can was absolutely brilliant there guys but hopefully you know you have enjoyed this Austrian Grand Prix vlog you know it was an absolutely brilliant race to go to the venue is wonderful you can just see there how picturesque the circuit is as well guys but yeah as I said hopefully you have enjoyed if you are new around here, do not forget to like, subscribe if you want to see more F1 videos. No, very rare that I do vlogs from Formula 1 races, but you know, this is the first time I've actually ever done one, guys. But obviously, if you want to see any F1 gameplay or anything like that, F1 career modes, challenges online, all sorts of things, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you next time for a brand new video.